Good evening. Hey, everybody. How are you? Hello, it's Tracy. I'm on. How about you? What's going on? I hope it's a great night for you. Hi there. Welcome to the Liptini night. Yes, the Liptini night. Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome. I hope you're chiming on in. If this is your first time joining us, make sure you give StreamYard access to show your name um, so that I know who I'm talking to tonight. I would love to know who's on with me, who's on with me, who's on, who's on. Thanks for joining in. Hello, hello. All right. Well, my name is Tracy. I'm an independent sales director with Mary Kay. I've been building my business for 32 years, and I'm excited tonight to be sharing with you some lip products, some lip products. This is a lip party. We call it a lip teeny. Get excited about that. So glad that you're here. Welcome to the party. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for being on. If you're watching the replay, make sure you um, write hashtag replay in the comments. Um, if you're jumping on, please tag your beauty consultant. Tag me if I'm your beauty consultant. Say hi so I know that you're out there. My goal today is just to share a little bit of fun with you, bring some joy with you. Hey, me and my team, we're on a mission to sell 100 lip glosses this month and or lip products, basically lip products. And this is one of the way that I'm doing it is sharing a little bit about um, some of our lip products. So thanks for being on. Again, drop your name in the chat. Say hi. Let me know you're here. Um, I would love to chat with you. Just trying to wait and see. Yeah. Who gets on tonight? Let me know where you're, where you're joining in from. And if I share anything tonight that, ex that you like, give me some thumbs up. Give me some hearts. Let me know that you're enjoying what I'm sharing. Um, and I would love for you to give a shout out to the person that invited you. If you haven't given StreamYard access to show your name, please sure, be sure that you do. You just go to uh, StreamYard.com slash Facebook. And um, that will make sure that when you comment, I can see your name. So absolutely, absolutely. Where are you guys joining me from? Where are you joining me from? What city? What state? I want to know who's on. Who invited you? Tag the person that invited you tonight. We're going to be talking about everything lips. We're not going to be long, maybe 20 minutes or so. Y'all know I'm not too long with it, but I love sharing amazing facts and everything. So add a comment um, to let me know that you're here. Ask questions. I want to know that you're on and that you're enjoying. Hey, last night I talked about. Um, our Mary Kay Skin Analyzer app. And that app allows you to take a picture or profile of your skin and send it to your beauty consultant so that he or she can help you make the best choices for your skin. Um, so please be sure that you do that. Be sure that you do that. I'm sure that they will have a, he or she, your beauty consultant will have a special prize for you for doing that. Give me your comments, chime on in. Let me know that you're here. Say hi. Wanna know who I'm talking to this evening. Welcome to the lip party. It's a lip teeny party. Yes, it is. We're gonna be talking about everything lips. Everything lips. We sure are. So let me just go ahead and share my screen. Who is this? Somebody just made a comment. Well, it's Christine. Thanks for being on. Absolutely. Thanks for having you. Glad you're, you're on with us. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. And uh, there we are. There we are. Yes, we are having a lip teeny party. Get excited. So, so glad you're here. We're going to be talking about lip products, lip glosses, lipsticks. It is going to be so much fun for about the next 15 or 20 minutes or so. So glad you're on. If you comment and you tag your beauty consultant, I promise you, I promise you, they'll have a special gift for you. And if you're my 
my customer, go ahead and chime in and let me know that you watched this. If you're watching the replay, make sure you put, type in hashtag replay and tag your beauty consultant or tag me so that we know that you were on. Yeah, that's what we want to know. We want to know that you were on. So absolutely welcome to our lip teeny party. And so what I would love for you to do is to grab a piece of paper and um, make a little hashtag, make a little hashtag or a little tic-tac-toe box. And what do you do when you do that tic-tac-toe box? Um, I want you to write in each corner or in each spot if there's a lip product or a lip color or something that I share that you're interested in. And then at the end of um, the presentation, you're going to take a click a picture, send it to your beauty consultant so that they know what to follow up with for you. All right. So make sure you drop some hearts and some emojis. If I share something that's good, ask questions. I'm here to answer them. Um, write down what you love about what I'm going to share and um, be sure to put a shopping bag in the uh, chat. All right, I want it if I share a lip product that you're interested in, all right? And then the other thing I want you to think about is on the other side of that paper, we would love it if you would write down who do you think would love to share in a lip party. You know, you can do one of these in the comforts of your own home or with your beauty consultant. Yep, I like to do something called lips and lashes, and I'm sure he and she, he or she would be able to do the same thing, sharing our amazing lip products and eye products as well. As well. So, when you're watching, this is just a little fun little game. Like, what would be your lipstick name? What would it be? How about the color of your shirt and your pet's name? I don't have a pet, so I would say, I guess mine would be white, um, no name. I'll just make something up because uh, my shirt's white and I don't have a pet. But if I had a pet, he probably would be called Bear because <laughs> I like big dogs, right? Big dogs. So White Bear, that would be my lipstick name, okay? That would be my lipstick name. So before... Um, I jump into sharing our lip glosses. Um, just to share with you, we've got some amazing products, right? We've got lipsticks that are matte, that are semi-matte. We've got luscious lip glosses. And then we also have some limited edition lip vinyls, all right? So as you're seeing these colors pop up, if anything tickles your fancy, go ahead, make a comment, um, ask a question so that uh, we can get back to you. But this is about our new Supreme Hydrating Lipstick. Supreme. Supreme. Yeah, so that is about our supreme lip colors. Guess what? Those particular lip colors, they are um, kind of like a cross between a lipstick and a lip gloss, right? So they are um, hydrating, obviously, moisturizing, lightweight to the lip area. And they are um, come in some eight beautiful shades. Um, these are just three of them that I'm ho holding here. Um, so three of the shades I'm holding here in my hand, let me stop sharing my screen so you will, you can see what they look like. Yeah. So this particular color is called Rockstar Red. I'm going to sample that for you because I love a red. I love a good red and I love lipsticks that moisturize too as well. I, I like to do both, um, mattes and colors that moisturize. This is called Poetic Pink. Look at that. It's a nice soft pink. And this one is called Boho Plum. Boho Plum. I thought I had another one up here too that I really, really love. It's probably upstairs in my um, makeup bag. It is called um, Barely Bear. Bear. B-A-R-E. All right. But before I do that, let's talk about prepping your lips. Right, because you want to be sure that when you, you are taking care of your lips, just like you're taking care of your skin, there's no oil glands there. And so they need some hydration. I know when y'all looking at my lips, they look a little dry, right? Yes, I did that on purpose because I wanted you to see what happens when you use Mary Kay's Satin Lips products. When you use our uh, Shea Sugar Scrub, which has Shea Butter. It's a Shea Butter-based scrub. Just going to take a little bit and rub that on my lips. 
it's going to exfoliate the lips. I love this because it makes your lips satiny smooth. That's why it's called satin lips. Ha <laughs> ha, get that, right? Satin lips. So this is good for everybody in the family. Gets down there deep in the crevices, hydrates, moisturizes the lips. It gets the dead skin off. It's so important to hydrate the lip area. So you can just put it on, rub it on. Doesn't have to take long. Take a damp towel. My towel's damp. And wipe it off. Or you can um, do it in the shower. Do it in the sink before or after you brush your teeth. However you choose. But the idea, oh yeah, is to slop off the dead skin. Oh, look at that. Just from taking off the dead skin, right? So that's the lip, the sugar scrub. Tastes good too because it's sugary, right? And then there's the lip balm, the Shea Butter Lip Balm. And um, it's got a point on it. You can just take a little bit and you can use the tip to just rub it right on your lips. Now, the beauty of this product is it's not like uh, some of those over-the-counter products. Um, that sit on your lips, okay? This is going to absorb into your lips. So it's okay to use it and then go right behind it and apply your lip color or your lip cleaner because it's going to be absorbed into the lips, moisturizing the lips. Look at that. They look great. And we have a limited edition came out with for, the ho for this holiday season, a Hint of Mint Lip Balm. Y'all, when I tell you, this thing right here is nice, nice, nice and luscious, okay? Retails for 10. Get with your consultant, ask about it. Type it in the chat if you're looking for it. Make sure you put it on your on your um, hashtag board if you're interested in getting and trying this Hint of Mint. It makes great stocking stuffers and it is just a hint of mint, right? So um, same type of a... Of a um, of a uh, point and you would just take a little bit and rub it on it's good for everybody in the family both of them are but this one yes tasty just a little literally that was a good name hint of mint because it just just a little bit of mint so can be worn by itself or with um you know with another with a lip color but the satin lips retails for 22 that hint of mint retails for 10. So get with your consultant and ask about that. I love the way my lips are feeling. Okay, so then the other thing that you want to do is consider using a lip primer. Now, what is a lip primer, Tracy, you might say? Well, let me tell you, does anybody have any issues with bleeding, your lip color bleeding, or your lips getting crepiness? Okay, you want something that is going to lock in the moisture and that is going to prime the lips for color. So the color is going to stick to it. It's going to stay to it. And it's going to, our lip primer is, has age fighting benefits. Say what? Yeah, that's right. So that, um, you know, some women and men can begin to show age in their lip area. You know, you get the little lines there and you get that bleeding. This particular product, this lip primer, it's kind of dries, kind of powdery. And you can probably even tell that it kind of just matted my lips some. Um, but it is going to lock in the moisture and it is going to help with the feathering. So you won't get any feathering um, or bleeding of your lip color when you're using a lip primer. OK, helps that color stay on for longer. Retails for 25. Ask your consultant about it. Lip primer and lip satin lips. Two things that you definitely want to have in your arsenal of colors. So I told y'all I was going to sample this um, rock star red. Now it is a luscious hydrating uh, lip color, has vitamin A, vitamin E in it, but it's a little heavier than a gloss, right? So here you go. I'm put the color on. So you can see what it looks like. So it's a little sheer, see that? little sheer, but um, gives you more coverage than a lip gloss would. It's not super shiny like a lip gloss. A little bit of shine. So if you like a, a lip color that is moisturizing, that is going to uh, add a little bit of shine to your lips, then you want to check out our Supreme Hydrating Lip Colors in eight luscious colors. So be sure to write that down. Ask your consultant about 
that. And this particular color I'm wearing is called Rockstar Red. Rockstar Red, yes, that's that color. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. And <clears throat> before I share with you a little bit about our lip glosses, this is our oil-free makeup remover. I love it because it takes lip color off, it takes eyeliner, mascara off real easily, right? So you don't have to tug or pull on the lips. My lips are, are not dry, but this oil-free makeup remover, add that to your list if, you, if you're if um, you interested. It is solvents that dissolve even um, magnetic liner, magnetic eyeliner. So it dissolves waterproof product products. So your eye makeup, it dissolves lip stains, lip tints, all of those wonderful things. Good for taking the lip color off, all right? And of course, for the eye area. There you go. Now, so I've talked a little bit about prepping the lip area, and I'm going to share with you um, one of Mary Kay's beauty ambassadors, Louise Casca, who is going to take a few minutes and give you kind of like a quick little mini run through on how to um, create the perfect lip and how to choose colors that are great for you, for you, right? So take a watch, grab your pen and paper, and uh, take a watch here with Luis Casca. Lip color has been a makeup staple for thousands of years. And as companies create more shades, product forms, and finishes, you have more options than ever for enhancing your lips. And those expanded options can make makeup shopping overwhelming. That's why I'm sharing some timeless tricks for finding flattering red and berry lip shades, customizing your look, and prepping your lips for the best application possible. First, Let's go over how to find a lip color that looks flattering on you. The easiest thing to do is to see how much the shade contrasts with your own skin. Now, a quick way to look at this is to take a selfie, turn it to black and white, and then you'll be able to see how much that shade stands out against your skin. So the more contrast you see on your lips, the bolder the shade will look. And since everyone has different preferences for how bold or subtle they want their lips to be, this is a choice only you can make. Remember, your personality is what should really guide you. Now, let's talk about choosing your shade. Red lipstick is a really classic look that's been popular for years. These shades look great with anything from jeans to an evening gown. It all depends on your personality and what you feel comfortable wearing. But before we get into specific shades, let's talk about undertones. Just like with foundation, your undertone can influence how different shades look on your skin. If you're not sure if your skin has a warm, cool, or neutral undertone, just think about how your skin reacts in the sun. If it deepens in the sun, you have a warm undertone. And if you burn easily, you likely have a cool undertone. If you're somewhere in between, your undertone is probably neutral. Now, I've found that true red shades look amazing on light and medium skin tones. So I suggest wearing the shade Poppy Please if you have a warm or cool ivory skin tone, or Red Stiletto if your skin is neutral ivory or beige. Women with bronze skin tones also look gorgeous in Red Stiletto, but Red Smolder is also great if you want something a little deeper. Berry shades are also super trendy and they're especially flattering on beige and bronze skin tones. And the bolder they are, the better. The deep winter berry shade Berry Famous is very flattering on bronze skin tones. And Crush Berry is a pinkish berry shade that looks amazing on beige skin tones, especially when paired with Berry Lip Liner. If you have lighter, ivory skin, try a lip gloss shade like Berry Delight for a more subtle berry look. Bold shades like reds and berries look great when paired with a softer eye look instead of something equally bold like a smoky eye. 
since that helps you keep the focus on the lips and creates a pretty balanced look. And now that you have your shape picked out, let's talk about getting those lips ready for color. Always prep your lips by exfoliating and moisturizing before you apply lipstick. So you have a smooth surface to start with. I like using this satin lip set because it's formulated with nourishing shea butter and helps you leave dry, chapped lips behind. Then you can either line your lips before applying lipstick for a longer lasting look or after to perfect your lip line. Mary Kay Lip Liner in Berry and Red work great with the shades I just went over. But now, if you're looking at some of these shades and thinking they're too bold for you, there are a few ways you can tone them down and give them a more subtle look. You can apply lipstick with a brush or your fingertips for a more sheer application. Just make sure you're not using the same brush on your lips that you normally use on your eyes and wash your hands first if you're using your fingers. You can also top your lipstick with a lighter shade of lip gloss over it, like Mary Kay Unlimited Lip Gloss in Beach Bronze or Tawny Nude. It'll give you a more subtle, shinier look. And if you want a toned down look with a little added moisture, just apply a little Satin Lips Shea Butter Balm on top of your lipstick. No matter what lip look you're going for, being yourself is key, which is why it's important to wear whatever makes you feel confident and beautiful. And your Mary Kay Independent Beauty Consultant can help you feel lip color confident, whether you need help finding or mastering your next favorite lip look. Visit MaryKay.com today to connect with your personal beauty advisor. Yay! Wasn't that great? Wasn't that great? Yes. So good. So good. Such great information. And I love the fact that he mentioned that very, um, very famous lip color. Guess what? I put it on while he was talking. Yes, I did. Um, it is a beautiful shade, beautiful shade. Good for all skin types. Um, nice berry color. And he mentioned how you could tone it down if you um, are in more of the lighter beige or ivory family. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try with our, um, let's see what color am I going to use? I'm going to go ahead and use Sheer Illusion. This beautiful, oh, beautiful, beautiful color. One of our shimmer colors. I'm going to talk a little bit about the lip glosses in a minute, but I'm just going to take some of this lip gloss. There we go. Look at that. Look how shimmery that little color is. And I'm going to apply it on top of this very famous to tone down the color a little bit. There you go. And so you could always um, use, as he mentioned, a lighter lip gloss on top of the color um, to tone it down a bit. Yep. To tone that color down. So I hope y'all found that interesting. Took some great notes about how to, um, how to pair things. And of course he did, he talked about just what I already had done, which was to prep the lip for color. Great. So we are now going to, um, talk a little bit about, uh, let me go on and go back to the presentation here and get into some of the our luscious luscious lip glosses yes our lip glosses um and so when you think about lip color what is your personality would you say you're bolder or um you know when you like a bold color do you like kind of a muted color do you like a sophisticated dark color or you like something that's muted and warm um, you know, your lip color can say a lot about your personality. Absolutely can. And depending upon the shape of your lips will determine how you want to apply your color and how you want to um, accentuate, you know, um, the look or the color that you're wearing. So be sure that you're clear on what shape your lips are and um, how it can enhance your lip color. We talked about the satin lips. We talked about the lip primer. Let's talk about these amazing lip glosses. They are so, so 
um, to die for, I tell you. Now, these lip glosses have earned a beauty award from the Better Homes and Gardens um, and good, a good housekeeping seal of approval as being one of the best lip glosses out there on the market. Can you get excited about that? And we believe in Mary Kay that lipstick can change the world. I'm telling you, you give a woman a new lip color and guess what? It would just uplift her mood. What is a day without lipstick or lip color? I don't know, but it, I always got to have it. I always got to have it. My go-to is a red, some shade of a red, right? Or a berry. So let me tell you about these amazing lip glosses. They come in three beautiful finishes, cream, pearl, and shimmer, depending on what your preference may be. And um, they pop. They really, really pop. And they look good on everyone, right? look good on everyone. And here's just to, um, to tell you about the cream colors. They come in three shades of nude. Oh, let me go back. I did that too fast. You've got a unique mauve, a nude blush, a tawny nude, a chocolate nude, a pink fusion, and an iconic red. And that red is everything, y'all. Let me tell you, it looks good on anyone that likes to wear red. It's a true red color um, as far as the cream colors. And they are must have. This is a beautiful video. Look how Great Look how pretty they are. Look, can you see those shades? Yeah. Popping, popping, pop beautiful. Popping, popping, popping. Pop beautiful lip gloss shades. Um, every woman could use a new lip gloss in her stocking, right? And so the shades look good on every skin tone from the, the lightest of light to the most deepest of bronzes. And so find your perfect shade or two in our Mary Kay lip glosses. And this is um, world-renowned makeup artist, Juliana Mayfold, just modeling what those colors look like on everyone. They look amazing. Love them, love them, love them. Always have a lip gloss in my bag um, just to complete my look. And guess what? When you think about a price comparison, Mary Kay is you know, we are a leader in the market, in the industry. If you um, decide that you want to uh, join us and become a consultant or become a, a member of our community, you obviously get a discount on the pricing, right? And so just look at comparatively um, our products um, as a member compared to just shopping over the counter. Think about it. Just think about it. All right. And you can always add satin hands to your um, collection as you are prepping your lips and preparing your skin for the day. You want to be sure that you are um, taking care of all the rest of your body with skin care and, and care for the body. OK, so beauty is your friend and we would love it if you would um, share your beauty consultant with your network of friends and family. That is the best compliment that you can give any consultant is to refer someone to them. So who do you know? Who do you know? Remember, flip that paper over. Who do you know that could use a good sit down, that could use some pampering time with your independent beauty consultant? Think about it. Just think about it. Who could it be? Oh, I don't want to play that because I don't want to get cut off. Okay. Let me tell you all about the lipstick effect. All right. Let me tell you about the lipstick effect. Now, the lipstick effect is a theory that when we are facing economic downturns, which ironically enough, we are, um, consumers will be more willing to buy less costly luxury goods. Less costly luxury goods instead of buying expensive things like fur coats and cars and all of that. People will buy an expensive lipstick before they go buy, you know, a big ticket item. The underlying assumption is that consumers will buy luxury goods even if there is a crisis. So what does that mean? When consumers trust in the economy that the economy is dwindling, consumers will buy goods that have less impact on their available funds, right? They won't keep their coin in their pockets. Outside the cosmetic market, consumers could be tempted uh, to buy expensive beer or smaller, less costly gadgets. Y'all, Cosmetics is recession proof. Think about it. Even in the downturn, people are going to buy their liquor, they're going to buy their tobacco, and they're going to buy cosmetics. They are. You still going to get your hair done, man. Still going to get their hair cut. They still going to take care of their beard, even if funds are tight. Okay. So this is an amazing opportunity um, to delve into right now. And the lipstick economy is thriving, thriving these days. So as you enjoy this lip party and I share with you, um, a little bit more about these lip glosses, 
I want you to think about it. Hmm, what could you do with some extra income just from sharing lips, lip colors, right? What could you do? Just think about it for a second. What could you do? Okay, so here we go. Let's think about the look at these amazing lip glosses, right? So I showed you the pictures of them and they retail for 16. They absolutely do. They have vitamin A, vitamin E, and a little hint of vanilla. And they are smooth. They go on real smooth and opaque. They're not um, tacky. Not tacky colors. Tacky meaning not tacky like ugly, but tacky like sticky. That's what I meant to say. They're not sticky. I'm going to model this iconic red because it's one of my go-to favorites. I'm going to go ahead and take this very famous off. And before we go tonight, I just want to show it to you. I also want to encourage you to get with your consultant. Ask them to show you. Sit down. I love when I sit down with um, someone and just help them find a good color, a good lip color. Because like I said earlier, a good lip color will make it will make your day right. It absolutely will. So this is the red. I the wand is um, flex. Well, the wand's not flexible. I shouldn't say, but it goes all the way down in the tube. So you're not going to lose any product uh, as it. Look how smooth that goes on. You see that, how smooth that goes on? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? This is the iconic red, iconic red. Beautiful color, beautiful, beautiful color. And you've got colors from the pinkest of pinks to our nudest of nudes, as well as our shimmery colors. So get with your consultant, decide to um, purchase a lip gloss or two this holiday season, help her meet her goal, his or her goal of a hundred, a hundred lip glosses this, this month, this month of, of December. And they would be mighty, mighty appreciative of you um, sharing your network with them. Thanks for hopping on with me tonight. I hope you had a good time. Ask your consultant about her buy one, get one. It may be buy one, get one half off, buy two, get the third free. Ah, up to her or him to decide how they want to do it. But if you're my consultant, type in the, if my customer, type in the chat and let me know that you're interested in my lip um, special. And I will share that with you. Have a great evening. Thanks for being on. And um, stay tuned for more. There's always going to be more skin tutorials and more product um, unboxings coming. So have a great evening. Thanks for joining me. Bye.